everyone! Today I'd like to give you a tour of our AG Dolls bathroom. I'd just like to share how I made each and one of these items in here to coordinate as one luxury look. You will be so surprised how the original pieces look like. This ceramic floor is actually a vinyl tile material, self adhesive, and extremely easy to install. I've done a hardwood floor video, it's from the same material, and the installation method is the same, so you should check out my other video. This wallpaper is beautiful, the pattern is just perfect for AG doll size. I got it from Dollarama. It's self adhesive, and the paper is thick enough that pasting it on the wall was not as difficult. Next is the self adhesive backsplash. I got three pieces. They're one by one from Walmart and it's $5 per piece. Again, it's easy to apply it on the wall. There's a cheaper version. I found these from Dollarama. It's $1.50 for two pieces and it will cost like three times cheaper. And so here's the main piece of the bathroom, the bathtub. It has a gold and silver matching accessories with the theme. Believe it or not, it's a transformation from the Generation Girls bathtub. I just wanted our bathroom to be unique, so I decided to change it to white and gold, sanding it and spray painted it. This vanity was a cute jewelry box that my sister gave me. She got it for $10 at Target on sale. I thought the style suited the bathroom very well, so I spray painted it to make it white. This faucet is just from a bottle that I got for 50 cents from Dollar Tree. It's totally worth it. And the toilet. As you know, it's so hard to find a toilet out there for all doll size. I found one from Etsy, but the price is the same as a real person's toilet. So I did a tutorial video to share with everyone. The toilet doesn't look as bad when it's being placed together with the whole bathroom pieces. Don't you agree? The curtain is a no-sew, only glued on piece of fabric with pleats. The top piece is a wooden piece I cut from my hanger. It was cut with a miter saw, spray painted, and glued onto the ceiling with hot glue gun. I made this chandelier really fast. The beaded string was from the dress of mine. I didn't like the quality, so I took it off. And now it works so well as a chandelier in this room. This wall cabinet is just a wooden craft box. I got from Dollarama for $2. I took the base off and re-glued it to give some design and spray painted it. All the bath accessories and all the random pieces were um, pieces that I found around the house. They were all spray painted in gold and they looked just absolutely stunning. The mirror is a picture frame I found at Dollar Tree. I got another mirror with the same size and I put them together. And it's just perfect. I got these wooden works from Michaels and they were on sale for $1.50 each. I made all the fancy curtain tie back and a tower rack and hanging knob from a craft wire and they were all glued on with a hot glue gun. Last but not least, I glued the crystal beads to cover the holes on the ceiling and they actually look like pot lights. And the crown molding and the baseboards were all applied using a hot glue gun.
If you have any tutorial requests for any piece in the bathroom, please leave your comments below. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please give your support and subscribe for more videos. See you soon!